Hi everyone and welcome back to the Repair and Installation TV channel. Undersea fiber optic cables are crucial for global connectivity, serving as the backbone of international telecommunications and internet infrastructure. These cables enable seamless and efficient transmission of data across continents and oceans. With their ability to transmit vast amounts of information at high speeds, they play a vital role in various aspects of society. During the manufacturing process, the cables pass through high-speed mills, resembling jet engines, which wrap the wire in a copper casing. This casing carries electricity across the line to keep the data flowing smoothly. To ensure the cable's resilience in the unpredictable ocean environment, layers of plastic, steel, and tar are added. Once completed, the cables take on the thickness of a robust garden hose. The undersea fiber optic cables are fabricated onshore, typically at specialized manufacturing facilities. This involves assembling the individual optical fibers, protective layers, and other necessary components into a single cable unit. The cables are manufactured to meet project specifications, ensuring optimal performance and durability. Pre-lay shore end operations are an integral part of the installation process for undersea fiber optic cables. This phase involves connecting the cable to the onshore infrastructure and burying it in the nearshore area to protect it from external forces and provide stability. Let's explore this critical stage in more detail. With the cable ready for deployment, the pre-lay shore end operations commence. The first step is to connect the cable to the onshore infrastructure. This involves carefully bringing the cable from the manufacturing facility to the landing site, where it is securely connected to the onshore network. The connection point is typically a cable landing station or a specially designed facility that serves as the interface between the undersea cable and the terrestrial network. Once the cable is connected to the onshore infrastructure, the next crucial task is burying it in the nearshore area. This burial process serves multiple purposes. Firstly, it protects the cable from external forces and potential damage caused by marine activities, such as anchors or fishing gear. By burying the cable in the seabed, it is shielded from accidental disturbances, reducing the risk of cable breaks or disruptions. Secondly, burying the cable provides stability. The seabed acts as a natural anchor, keeping the cable in place and protecting it from shifting currents and waves. This stability is vital to maintain the integrity of the cable over its operational lifespan. The burial process can be achieved through various techniques, depending on factors such as seabed conditions and water depth. In some cases, plowing equipment is used to create a trench in the seabed and bury the cable at the desired depth. Alternatively, specialized burial vessels may be employed to deploy the cable and cover it with a protective layer of sediments. Throughout the burial process, careful attention is paid to the depth and alignment of the cable. Precise control ensures that the cable remains in its intended position and is adequately protected. Monitoring systems and equipment are used to track the cable's path and verify its correct burial depth. Following the completion of the pre-lay shore end operations, post-installation assessments are conducted to ensure the cable's integrity. This may involve conducting tests to verify the connectivity and performance of the cable, as well as performing burial assessments to confirm that the cable is adequately protected. Regular maintenance and inspections are also carried out to monitor the cable's condition and address any potential issues. Specialized vessels equipped with remotely operated vehicles ROVs, are deployed to inspect the cable and perform repairs if necessary.
Installing undersea fiber optic cables presents a myriad of challenges and complexities due to the harsh marine environment and the intricacies of the installation process. Let's delve into the difficulties commonly encountered when installing cables at sea. 1. Depth and Terrain One of the primary challenges during undersea cable installation is dealing with varying water depths and seabed terrains. In deeper waters, specialized vessels and equipment capable of handling extreme conditions are required. Additionally, the seabed terrain can be rugged, rocky, or uneven, making it difficult to lay the cable uniformly and securely. 2. Weather and Environmental Conditions The marine environment is known for its unpredictable weather patterns, rough seas, and adverse environmental conditions. High winds, storms, and strong currents can significantly affect cable installation operations. These conditions can make it challenging for cable-laying vessels to navigate safely and maintain precise cable placement. Constant monitoring of weather conditions and meticulous planning are essential to mitigate risks associated with adverse weather and environmental factors. 3. Cable Protection Protecting the undersea fiber optic cable from external forces is crucial to ensure its longevity and optimal performance. However, the marine environment presents various risks that could damage the cable. Fishing activities, shipping traffic, natural phenomena like earthquakes or underwater landslides, and even interactions with marine life can pose threats to the cable's integrity. Implementing proper cable protection measures, such as burying the cable in the seabed or using specialized coatings, is vital to mitigate these risks. 4. Cable Tension and Laying Speed Maintaining appropriate tension during cable deployment is essential to prevent excessive stress or damage to the cable. Achieving the right balance between laying speed and cable tension is a technical challenge that requires expertise and precision. If the cable is laid too quickly, tension and stress on the cable can increase, potentially leading to performance issues or even cable failure. Conversely, laying the cable too slowly can delay the installation process and increase costs. Therefore, careful monitoring and control of tension and laying speed are critical for a successful installation. 5. Burial and Anchoring Burying the undersea fiber optic cable in the seabed provides additional protection against external forces and enhances its stability. However, the burial process can be challenging, particularly in deeper waters or areas with complex seabed conditions. Factors such as water depth, sediment type, and seabed stability must be considered when determining the optimal burial method. Anchoring the cable to the seabed also requires careful planning and execution to ensure secure positioning and prevent cable movement. 6. Cable Repair and Maintenance Once the undersea fiber optic cable is installed, regular maintenance and repairs are necessary to ensure its continuous functionality. However, accessing and repairing cables at sea can be a complex and time-consuming task. Specialized vessels equipped with remotely operated vehicles ROVs, are often employed to locate and fix faults or damages in the cable. Coordinating repair operations, especially in remote or challenging locations, requires meticulous planning and efficient deployment of resources. 7. International Regulations and Permits Installing undersea cables involves complying with international regulations and obtaining the necessary permits from relevant authorities. Each country has its own regulatory framework and approval processes for undersea cable installations. Coordinating with multiple stakeholders, including government agencies, marine conservation organizations, and local communities, adds complexity to the installation process. Navigating through these regulatory and administrative procedures requires meticulous planning, effective communication, and adherence to legal requirements. Despite these challenges, Advancements in technology, equipment, and industry expertise have significantly improved the efficiency and reliability of undersea cable installations. Rigorous planning, experienced personnel, and adherence to best practices help overcome these difficulties, ensuring the successful deployment of undersea fiber optic cables and enabling global connectivity. The collaborative efforts of telecommunication companies, cable manufacturers, marine engineers, and industry experts continue to drive innovation.